I use rubber cement. This is actually a glue that is um, used improperly a lot. So I'm going to run you through how to use it. I like to use the best quality. Uh, it doesn't stain the paper. Elmer's will stain your paper and you'll get a yellow cast to it. So I'd open the bottle. I want to get the excess off that paintbrush, off that brush. Then I'm looking for a smooth, a smooth coat and also a thin coat. This we don't need a, to to have swimming in glue. Put a thin coat on it. I always like to glue on top of a piece of paper. It protects my surface. I put this coat to the side, and I actually covered the other piece of paper that I'm going to adhere to it. So you put glue on both sides of the papers that you're gluing together. In the rubber cement, you allow the solvent to evaporate off of it. You don't um, mount it wet to wet. You actually have to let it dry so that it forms a strong bond. So once the solvent evaporates, you're left with a thin layer of rubber or latex, right? And these two get positioned right on top of it. It creates a very strong bond, and it's a bond too if it's dry. If you're using it dry, it's something that you don't want to pull apart. It's not going to move apart as much. I see students use it this way. Okay. Go over here. And then they take something and they position it on there. It's not the correct way to use it. Could it work for you? It's not as strong as a bond. The other thing too is you don't want this excess glue. You're going to have to wait for that dry. So when you're gluing, you may find out that you get some excess left over on your piece of paper. This is a rubber cement pickup. It's essentially a glue eraser for rubber cement. So when you use this thing, just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And you have incredibly clean surface with a strong, strong bond.